In the previous section, we estimated neural network and we checked basically in sample performance. So we have data using the data, we have neural network. And we will use that data again to check the performance with squared sum of errors. However, what if we use total different data to check the performance? Okay, so here we use different set of data to check the performance of the neural network. So this is the new input. So this is the input. Let me copy and paste this one. Okay, so this is IBM.p. IBM.p is C byte, column byte of this one, A64 to A87, and A63 to A86, and A6 to A85, right? So it is again new data, so it is RT minus 1, T minus 2, RT minus 3. So it is two new input variables, so it's totally new data. We didn't use this data to estimate our model, right? Our neural network. If we plug these numbers to our neural network, neural network, it will generate the prediction in line with this input. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so how is this one? So y h y hat compute the forecast. Let's copy and paste this entire thing again. Okay, so again, IBM.p is a C by this one, and the computer forecast. So YH, our Y hat is a prediction, predict. Okay, we use this neural network, IBM that and N, and we plug this IBM.p and it generates prediction. And YH looks like this. So it is our prediction. But it, in our new data set, we also have our observation, okay, observation. So this is actually Y0 is observed written in the forecasting subsample of this one. So Y0 is from A65, so 888. So it is real observation. So if our neural network is good, if our neural network is good, YH should be similar to Y0, right? So let's compare that. Tail, we combine column bind y0, which is observation, and yh, which is our prediction, and its input. And then let's take a look at all the six last rows. Copy and paste. Okay, so let's analyze this one. So this is our input, given this input, we have this prediction and this real data. So again, this is stock return and it is very hard to predict stock return with this simple, just a past three data. So not surprisingly, this one and this one looks very different. And this actually proves the market is efficient. You know, in the efficient market hypothesis, there are three forms of efficient market hypothesis. So there is strong form of efficient market hypothesis, semi-strong form of efficient market hypothesis, and then weak form of efficient market hypothesis. And strong form of e efficient market hypothesis is often called EMH. EMH, efficient market hypothesis. Or so strong EMH means that we cannot predict stock return even with inside information, okay? That's what strong EMH says. Semi-strong EMH means that we cannot predict stock return with fundamental analysis. Fundamental analysis means that, well, we can use forms of counting information or other news or other public information. So semi-strong form EMH means that if we use all public information, still we cannot predict stock return, okay? That's semi-strong form EMH. Now, weak form EMH means that technical, technical analysis does not work, which means that 
even if we have information about history of stock return, we cannot predict stock return with the history of the stock return. That's the strong form, that's the weak form, EMH. And in academia, there is a general uh, consensus that, except some cases that people tend to believe that weak form EMH hold, which means the technical analysis, like a chart analysis, that is not so useful. In our this neural network analysis, it is typical technical analysis. We want to estimate stock return with past three days of return. And we know weak form EMH hold or technical analysis hold. Technical analysis is not so useful. Which means that even if we use this neural network and if we plug past three days return, it shouldn't be so predictable. It shouldn't be much helpful to predict stock return. And indeed, it says that this result shows that that weak form EMH may be right. Even if we use past day minus one, day minus two, day minus three returns, and we form the prediction, prediction. This prediction, it does not it is prediction does not so match well with this actual observation. So it suggests that stock return is very hard to estimate with this simple analysis or this technical analysis. So weak form EMH is maybe right. Okay. Again, we can calculate the sum of squares. Okay, this is the let me copy and paste this one. But this is out of the sample. Out of sample. This is in sample. Some of the square, so SSFE forecasted error. So again, like we measure gap between observation and prediction and measure distance and sum it all. SSFE, and then we can divide the SSFE with the length of the Y0. This is about 92. In the previous case, SSE in sample with Y, it is over 42. So in this case, our predicted error is all more than two times of the in sample error, which is not surprising, right? Not surprising. This is greater than this one. This is greater than this. It's not surprising because this error is from in sample, means that we use the we use the we use the data to estimate the model and we check the model with the exactly same data. They should perform much better that checking of the model by checking the uh, standard error which is from with a total new data set. No, that's not surprising that this is greater than this one. Okay, so if your model is good, your model is good, actually this one should be not so great. So here this is big. Okay, brilliant. Yeah, issue the same one. You can either print SSFA or you can simply type SSFA and they are either the same. Okay, so let's go over this code again. Let's review our code. In the first line, in the first line, we set working directory. Okay. Setting working directory. This second line, this second line is we call data and name it X. Name it as X, right? So set working directory. So next tab is here. Download a data and then download the data and then and save it at work in the working directory. Okay. So we call data and name it as X. Right, we download this one with week seven, which is week seven. Okay, week seven folder. 
Okay, if you put sharp, the computer cannot read it. Okay, use week seven folder. Okay, so we download it, and then we call the data like this. One. We type name of the data file file and scan and store it as x. Head x, tail x, they show the first six rows and the last six rows respectively. Histogram, this shows histogram and it turn up the histogram. Generate histogram, it turn up the histogram. And then now we call library, call package and net and net. Okay, call package and net. And this is the RT. So this is our data in sample output. So and that is input. And by matching, comparing this one and this one, we are as to the neural network. So here I check the data whether it is R T minus one, T minus T minus three. This one. IBM N N is a neural network. So we run neural network. This is neural input. This is output. Size is three which means that we have three units. You can change the three into the four or different number and then go back to the uh, sum of squared error to check whether your model performs better in sample and out sample. So if maybe you can at home, you can practice with a different setting about this one. Okay. You can increase this one or decrease it, or you can make a skip even true. Maybe your model performs better. You can try. So line out, it generates value between plus infinity to minus infinity. If it is false, it normalizes every value to the value between 0 and 1. Okay? Number of iteration and decay rate. You can also change this decay rate. Okay. And then summary, this shows the estimated the value of the estimated neural network and why hat it predicts. So given this input, it generate predict because we use this one and why so it is making in simple prediction okay and then well this is something you know, practice you can ignore this one and tail is the well tail is the here we tail c vine so we check like six one and we can compare y and y hat so our in simple performance is good this one this should be similar and our, now in this line, we checked square some in sample performance. And then we use a totally new data set to check the performance. So this is a new, a new input variable. And then we use new input variable, input data, IBM.p. And then using this estimated IBM and then which we estimate over there. And then we predict new y. And but actually we have observed y. And by comparing predict y to edit y, we can check the performance and print. So this is all about the machine learning, a very simple machine learning algorithm, neural network. And by studying this one, I expect you get familiar with R and also we get some idea what is going on in the current discourse about the machine learning, deep learning, neural network, those things. Thank you.